Yeah, Marla, witness after witness telling me the homeless man had both of his arms up. He has turned his back. He was walking away when all of a sudden there was gunfire and the homeless man is shot dead. That is some of his friends have been bringing candles, leaving him back over there at the very spot where it happened, all at the hands of a security guard. Look here. He got the gun and shot it two times. So it was the security guard yeah. who shot the man? Yeah, he shot it two times. One right here and mm -hmm. one over here. An eyewitness to the deadly shooting that now has this security guard under arrest facing a charge of murder after he allegedly opened fire on an unarmed homeless man, shooting him twice in the back. As witnesses say, the homeless man was walking away with his hands up. Oh, he don't do nothing. He, he was only put the hand on the air like that. And he shot don't... in the back? Yeah. The security do like, like a race, you know, it's not good. El, el, el chévil, el chévil, you have he says the man turned like this with his hands up when he shot in the back. <laughs> Moments after the deadly shooting and the security guard appears shaken, telling LAPD he was scared. I was scared, he says. It all starts as an argument. The homeless man who's often seen in this area and the security guard who patrols a lot of the plant shopping center here off Van Nuys Boulevard. That's when witnesses say the security guard goes to his car to get his gun and then allegedly fires two shots. The homeless man is shot dead, his body covered by this white tent, while the guard and his car are both taken away by LAPD. Based on the uh, totality of the evidence we've gathered, he was arrested for murder. While the brother of the homeless man is too upset to talk after a deadly shooting many here say should never have happened. He's a nice guy. He don't, he don't bother anybody. He don't looking for problem. Don't bother any, anybody. Now live, the homeless man ID'd in his mid-30s, known here in this shopping area like a lot of the folks. He would be a day laborer and hang out in front of the Home Depot, waiting to pick up an odd job here and there. As for the security guard, investigators say he was armed with pepper spray on his belt, but they say he should not have been armed with that handgun that apparently he pulled out of his hand, uh, pulled out of his own personal car, and then the gunfire. For now, we're live here, Panorama City, Atlascos. Back to both of you.